Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you today. We're looking at expository preaching and we're looking at the priority of prayer in expository preaching. James E. Roscoff says, if the preacher is to deliver God's message with power, prayer must be the pre preeminent life and furnish a lifelong environment for the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22, 23. The spiritual example causes others to take his message seriously. Number one, dependence. Uh, number, two, number one, uh, godliness. A noble man of God, a man of prayer, is passionate and pursuing God and his values. So let's just go. Psalm 42. Psalm 42. Verse 1 and 2. As the heart panted after the water brook, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? So there's a passion for God. There's a dependence on the power of God. Paul relied on the Spirit of God. Romans 15.19 Romans 15.19 uh, We read through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God so that from Jerusalem and from around them to Lyconium I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. So Paul was dependent on God. So we're, we're thinking about prayer and, and preaching. And um, number one, the early Christians were prayers. We read Acts chapter 1, verse 4. Acts chapter 1, verse 4. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. But wait for the promise of the Father which said ye have heard of me. So they were waiting for the Lord and they were praying if you read chapter 1 and 2 of Acts. Uh, Paul was a man of prayer. Acts 14.23 When they had ordained them elders every church and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord whom they believed. So, prayer is vital um, in the preaching of, of the Word of God. Uh, Ian Barnes in 1835 to 1913 served as a Civil War chaplain for the Confederacy. He later pastored several churches and became a man driven by prayer. His morning habit was to pray from 4 to 7 o'clock. His listeners commented on his powerful public prayers and his messages. At least eight of his manuscripts on prayer and biography have been published. Barnes' books have been aroused many to greater fervour in, in prayer. He wrote, The young preacher has been taught to lay out all his strength on the form, taste and beauty of his sermon as a mechanical and intellectual product. We have therefore by cultivated a vicious taste among the people and raised the clamour for talent instead of grace, eloquence instead of piety, rhetoric instead of revelation, reputation and brilliancy instead of holiness. So prayer is absolutely vital and central to the preacher's task. The question is how, how are we spending time in prayer? Are we doing that? And so much in this book about prayer. And so I would encourage you to, to read it. Okay? And uh, get the most out of the book question what are we going to do about our prayer life 